Hey beautiful people, this is the Nikki Olori Cooks YouTube channel and today we're making Nigerian style chicken rolls. Let's get to it. Let's go. Okay guys, this recipe is actually really really simple so um and the video is quite detailed so i'm just going to come up here when i need to and yeah this is this is actually the same recipe that we nigerians use for sausage rolls and is we actually use it for sausage rolls instead of chicken but i just decided to change it up and use chicken instead and it came out exactly the same way beautiful so here i forgot to cut to break up my margarine and i was wondering what was happening because my butter was not mixing into the flour and i was like what was wrong then i remembered that i forgot to cube it <laughs> so please do not be like me and remember to cube your margarine or butter when you're working it into this flour so you do not have to go through all the stress like i am so here you're just going to use the warmth from your hands to just break the butter into the fly um and you want to achieve a bread like consistency bread crumb like so consistency like this here when you reach this place we can go on to the next thing on the list Okay, so here we want to pour in the milk little by little, then mix it in. We do not want to pour it at once because we want to, you know, want to just get, the, want to get the, the dough started, we want to mix it in really well. So, um, if you still need a little bit more water, you can add more water. I needed a bit more water, so I added just a, just a tiny little bit and it worked fine. So be very careful, even if you need um, a little more water, it's going to be very, even if you need water, it's going to be really, really little. So be careful with that. Now we're going to need again, I feel like I keep needing on this channel. <laughs> but trust me, it's, it's, nothing, it's nothing big this time. We're just going to need it till it is not sticky, until it forms a cohesive do then we just cover it and let it rest so next we move on to the minced um, meat so here i'm using chicken of course as i said you can use either beef or you can actually so just com completely substitute this for sausage and you can and one thing you can do with the sausage is that you can toast the sausage up like just give it a little toast around on the heat with a little bit of oil and just jump to where you roll it and i think that should add a little bit more flavor to the final dish you can season it to your liking but i did put the um seasoning that i use the amount of seasoning i use just in case you want to use that okay so after rolling it out we're just going to cut it into a neat like a, an even shape like a rectangle or a square this is just because we do not want one side to have a bit more dough than the other side then one part might be undone or have more flour and maybe be a bit more cakey than the other side so that's just the reason why i made it an even you know a an even shape around then we'll just you know lay the chicken on one side you know lay as much as you want just know that it's going to puff up in the oven so just just keep that in mind and you can just put as much as you want then use egg wash to rub the opposite side roll it up 
close up the edge well and cut it into your desired length. Now here's a really good tip for you guys, um, instead of you know having to struggle with a parchment paper that you know rolls every single time you lay it, just try squeezing the or scrunching the uh, parchment paper next time and you'll see it lay much flatter and it makes it much easier to you know assemble whatever you want to assemble on it. So here I'm just poking holes through the, um, through the rolls to the center i'm poking it and i'm making sure that it reaches the center because we want air to go through the rows to the center of the row where the chicken is now look I know you're supposed to leave it to you know cool and stuff like that but honestly I wanted it hot and I really recommend you to eat it hot because it's much delicious that way so I couldn't wait and I opened one <laughs> and it tasted so good here I am opening it the chicken came out really really well seasoned and it complements the slight sweetness of the dough and it just it just you know it's it's something that you won't know when you're eating like five or six so i'd recommend you to be really careful with it <laughs> okay so that's all guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel check me more on my other videos and on my upcoming videos and this is nikki O'Leary signing out